What's up, family? Welcome back to Jazzy Does It, where we DIY things on a regular. So today we're going to do something that I call Quick Crafts, where it's just a really quick DIY, and we're going to make this feather chandelier that I've seen on different websites, on Overstock and Wayfair, and they're usually for like $200, and today we're going to make this chandelier for $20. If you want to see how we do it, just keep watching. Here is a picture of my initial inspiration for this DIY and as you can see it's $250. So this DIY is more of an upcycle. I did get this light from a thrift store for $5 and the other light that I took the crystal pieces from I also thrifted and also got for $5 so a total of $10 on light fixtures which was perfect. This actual DIY was not planned. I really wanted to hang up that crystal light fixture in my bathroom, but it turned out that it didn't work. So I decided to go ahead and reuse it and take the crystal parts of that light off and make something else. So let's talk about the things that we're going to need for this project. Um, we're going to need some Mod Podge. I got some translucent thread and I also got fishing line just in case the thread didn't work. I got a dry erase marker to draw my circles. I used a pot top to draw a circle, obviously. And I also had these other things that I use for like different doughs to make circles. So that worked out perfectly. You're gonna need a drill, a very small drill bit. And uh, these are the crystals from that other light fixture. Here is the light that I use to do everything. You're also going to need some feather boas. I ordered two from Amazon, and that's about it. So we're just going to start off drawing our circles. They don't have to be perfect. You really don't even need to really draw circles. You can put your crystals anywhere that you want them. Um, you're not really going to be able to tell it's in a circle once it's hanging on the ceiling. So that's what I'm doing here. Now we're just taking the drill and we're just drilling our holes anywhere around the circle that you feel like you want to put your holes is where your crystals are going to go. And when you drill your holes, you're going to drill two holes next to each other, not just one. Make two next to each other. And I'd like to give another shout out to my subbies. I love you guys so much. Thanks again for all the support and if it's your first time, Welcome to Jazzy Does It, where we DIY things on a regular. And I hope you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you'll always know when I post new content. So this part was a little bit of trial and error, but I finally got the hang of it. What you're going to do is you're going to take a long piece of thread, make it long, don't make it short like this, make it long, and you're going to put one piece through one of the holes, put the other piece through the hole that's in your crystal, and you're going to put that other end through the other hole, flip it over, tie a knot, and that is it. Yeah, 
Here is our finished look for the parts of the crystals on the bottom of the chandelier. And now we're going to move on to the actual lampshade of the chandelier. This part is super easy and quick. That's why this DIY is one of our quick crafts. This whole thing probably took me about 45 minutes to do. Um, you're just going to slather, I mean slather, uh, all that Mod Podge all over that lampshade. Because you want your feathers to stick to that really, really, really good. So just like slather. You might think it's too much, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's totally not. Just put it on there and then just stick your feather boas right along the edges of your lampshade. Every time we say goodbye They all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try Here is our final product. It looks so good in my office slash studio room that I'm making just for you guys because I need to be putting out more content and I need my own space to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this video and like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Oh